And what's up, guys? It's Zelda Walking 358, and welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker 100% playthrough. And in the last part, we got the one and only bombs, yes. And now we can move on with the story and get that third pearl. But before we do, I. Oh my god, I forgot about that place. Yeah, we'll be unlocking that square, that uh, middle square. But I'm gonna cut and meet you guys down there. So, let me get my boat here. And I'll meet you guys there. Alright, so we're here in Six-Eyed Reef. Um, if you look to see exactly where I am, I'm a little bit uh, southwest of uh, the island itself. Because over here is a submarine. So, let's go inside here. So if you remember the last submarine, we got a bottle from killing some enemies. This time, we're going to get a, um, a heart piece, but it's going to be a lot harder. So yeah, I've got a moblin over here. These ugly fat pig guys. And I'm going to actually use the grappling hook. Yeah, I got a nice skull necklace out of there for free. Ow. Oh shit, oh, do you see that? Do you see that dodge right there? <laughs> he swung and I jump attack at the exact same time. Uh, that was really lucky, actually. <laughs> What's in this barrel? Oh, there's another one. Yeah, so once you defeat one of them, another one comes down. I'm pretty sure there's three of them, too. Try to avoid the chew jelly, actually. There we go. Attack him. Now let's kill him. Okay. Uh, jump attack. Oh, shit, he broke the other barrel, and there's a electrified yellow shoe jelly. I'm not gonna... I hate when they freaking block like this. Got his skull necklace. Come on. Oh, just avoid that shoe jelly. Die, die. What the hell? Ow, freaking shoe jelly. Oh, I, I forgot about this thing. Money and hearts. And there we go. I think he's dead now. Alright, I'm just gonna kill this chew jelly. Oh. Yep, there's the third one. It's the boomerang here. And. Okay. Alright, let's kill this last one quickly. Let's get his uh, skull necklace first. That, that chew jelly just gave out orange jelly. It's weird. Pick up his rupees and stuff. Oh my god, these spike freaking ball things are so annoying. Come on! I hate these freaking mobs. Later on in the game, you get this uh, item. It's actually at like, the dead end of the game, but once you get it, you can kill any enemy with one one usage of that item. I don't want to spoil anything here. Oh, spin attack and killed him. Oh, no, I didn't. Now he's dead. Okay. So now, after you kill all three mobs, a ladder should fall down. There it is. And let's climb up and grab the spiked chest. And here we go, heart piece, number nine, pretty sure it's number nine, or maybe it's ten, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> okay, so anyways, in this part and the next part, this part's gonna be a little over 20 minutes, and um, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be around 20 minutes, next part's probably gonna be also, I'm gonna just make two like 20 minute parts, and they're gonna be up to the next dungeon, but anyways, I'm going to cut to Stonewatcher Island. Alright guys, I'm actually a little bit east of Stonewatcher Island, because over here is one of these things. I'm sure you've seen them before, but we have to actually kill them. So what you have to do is you take your boomerang, and oh no, yeah, they shoot bombs at you. you got to kill, the, destroy the cannons. Do not target, you can't, it doesn't really matter if you target more than one. It only goes to one, and once it hits the cannon, it freaking flies back to you, and I'm freaking failing right now. But um, yeah, once you hit the cannon with the boomerang, it's it just gonna it's just gonna fly back to you no matter how many you target like this. It's just gonna hit one and it'll come back to you. I think I, I think I might have just gotten both of them, but it just basically hits one. And yeah, you can't really use bombs because you can't really aim them. So your best chance is just to use the boomerang. And I'm f failing like a motherfucker right now. 
<sighs> okay, target him. Okay, I just targeted three different things. And I completely failed, yeah. Yeah, I, I gotta get a little closer to see if I can just kill this guy. Oh my god, a freaking bomb right in my face. Ah, I killed the cannon though, got it. Let's get back in the boat here. I'm not changing the wind, I don't care, I'm not wasting my time. And that's not gonna work, is it? Yeah, it's not gonna work. Come on! What the hell? Alright, here we go. Right here. Alright, that's cannons dead. You, you, you gotta destroy all of the cannons around the entire thing, and once you do, it's gonna lock a treasure chest on top of it, and then you can climb it and grab the chest. And yeah, I think I only have two cannons left now. And you, you can't get them from underneath like this if it, if it hits it at all. It doesn't go through it like it does with other enemies. So you gotta sail around it. It's really, you, should, you should do it like this because um, the cannon, you should try to hit them in, in a certain way that the cannons can't, you know, face and shoot a bomb at you like this. I'm pretty sure there's actually more than two left. Can I hit this one here? No? Alright, now let's try it. Yeah, I think it's gonna work either, yeah. Alright, let's move a little bit farther. And this should be good. Again, see, once you hit one, it's just gonna come right back. So there's no point targeting more than one, just target one. And that guy's dead. I think there's two more now? I right, here we go, there's one. And... And he's dead! And, uh, sail around here. I think that's the last one now. And yeah, if you see all this thunder and lightning and wind and everything, until we get the third pearl, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be like a storm 24-7. So, now a church just appears there, and we can climb on top and get it. Spike chest. So we know it's in there. Oh, oh, the water almost got me. And here we go. <laughs> this fucking idiot. I'm just gonna avoid them, but those stupid idiot moblins. Or book. They have moblins, whatever they are. They didn't even notice me. Or all their cannons being destroyed. Yeah, here we go. Two whole pieces, so I'm pretty sure that's heart piece number eight. All right? Maybe? Wait, no, no. Nine. No, ten. Heart piece number ten. Yeah, that's heart piece number ten. Okay. Now I know. All right, so that's basically it. We got killed that and got the treasure chart there and uh, some money. And I'm going to cut back to Outset Island, back home. Alright, so here we are, back in Outside Island, and blah blah blah, I don't care what you have to say. Perhaps the curse that Valu spoke of? Yeah, maybe it is. Yeah, it doesn't matter the reason. So now, now that we're back on Outside Island, actually, unlike before, there is actually monsters on the island. Alright, just completely fall off the bridge. And, well, monsters as in shoe jelly, yes, there's green one and red one and stuff. I mean, it's good and bad. It's good because if you want, like, to collect two jelly for potions and stuff, you can easily kill them, but otherwise it's just really annoying. Having enemies, you know, on your own island. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're only there at night. Avoid them. Okay, so what we're going to be doing first off, uh, before we go to Jabu and get the uh, third pearl, he's actually at the back of the island. Now that we have bombs, we can um, easily find him, but instead, first we're going to do a little, couple other quick collection stuff. First thing we're gonna do is go back to the, uh, that forest up there. You know, when we first met the brown bitch. And, oh, what the hell are these guys? Yeah, if you hear this noise, this, these are brand new enemies now, and you're gonna be seeing a lot more of them later on when we go back to the Forsaken Fortress. To save our sister, they're gonna be there, and they're really annoying. But for now, we wanna go over there. And how the hell do we do that? We gotta change the wind and use our deco leaf. And to the west. So again, this is a 100% playthrough. As soon as some item or some uh, some side quest is available, I'm going to do it right away. Once you have a certain amount of items. So, it's going to be a fun little let's play 100% thing. 
Okay, so what I usually do is I climb around here, then I use a deck of leaf to jump over, to get over here. I'm pretty sure you have to do that, but I've never tried it without it, because I don't want to freaking climb all the way back up, and I always make sure. But just to be, just to be safe, I would go all the way up there. Okay, now we're back here. So, what you actually have to do, if you remember last time we were here, there was that giant rock. Holy shit, that guy. You want to be really quick moving through here, because if you, even while you're trying to climb up a ledge, he could attack you. But yeah, this, uh, rock over here, let's actually read this sign here. Fairy fountain site, yeah, blah, 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 I'm not reading that. Yeah, so, now that we have bombs, we can actually bomb this boulder, this giant boulder. Okay, throw it then, Link. I keep forgetting, you gotta put it down with R. But yeah, that, l that one bomb completely destroys the boulder. And this is our first fairy of the game. Now, fairies in this game, they, they either upgrade something that you have. And actually, no. Yeah, that's all the fairies do. They upgrade stuff. They don't really give you a new item. So, this first fairy here actually ends up upgrading our wallet. So, again, we can only hoard 200 rupees. And I was at that little rupee uh, trick at Windfall to get money. But now we can actually... He's going to be giving us another wallet. And... And so now we can hold a lot more money, and we won't have a freaking full 200 rupee wallet anymore, even though we spent a lot of money. But yeah, here we go. Carry more rupees, up to a thousand rupees. Yeah. And there's actually another upgrade after that. There'll be two more. I'm pretty sure there's just one more, though. But yeah, here's our first fairy. They don't look as slutty as they did in Ocarina of Time Reader's Mask. Look like normal fairies, except kind of black. But hey, I'm not trying to be racist here. Let's capture one of them in our bottle. We have two bottles now, so they both have fairies now. That's good. And yeah, we're actually uh, getting rid of one of the fairies right now. So let's get out of here. Okay. And okay, I was not going to go this way, but let's quickly run away before... Come on, come on. Shit, 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 shit. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. It chases you. Oh, holy shit. It made it <laughs> kind of like pushed us way through this onto the second ledge. You gotta be really careful with those guys because even if you try avoiding them, they can easily chase after you. And fuck it. I'm just gonna jump off. Um, Alright, that's water. I was about to take out the deck of leaf, but I realized it was water. Okay, so first things first. Oh, let's check our mail. Good evening. Two letters. Two letters, really? Alright. Beetle shop ship. Bombs. Beetle shop ship chart. Yeah. So basically, Beetle sh sells the bombs now, and he's gonna give us... Yes, the Beetle... You got Beetle's chart. It's, it's another chart chart again. This is 100%. I wanna get all the charts and stuff, so... Might as well. Big chance. Piece of heart. Rockspire Island, maybe I'll go check it out. Oh, oh, shit. You fucking asshole. Yeah, so that letter just is talking about going to Rockspire Island, getting like a piece of heart, a bottle, all this stuff. But the asshole gave us one rupee. That's like getting mail to like win something, and some asshole just puts a, like a, a penny in there. Fuck. Okay, here we are. We're back in Grandma's house now, and uh, over here is our grandma. She's very sick, so let's talk to her. Feel bad for her. Oh, Link, Earl, don't go, don't leave. Don't leave the poor old grandma all alone. Mm -mm. What we have to do is use one of our fairies. We want to target her and then let go of the fairy. And yeah, we'll go around her and save her. Heal her as it heals us. Oh, Link, is that you, Link? Grandma is always happy to see you. Link, my dear sweet Link, you're safe. That's wonderful, just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, that's right. You and your sister are trying too hard to be strong. I've just been sitting here moaning and worrying. Oh, it's fine. Doesn't matter. Fuck it. So now we saved our um, grandma. We healed her with the fairy. You would say... Yeah, look at this. You got elixir soup. Now that since we used um, a fairy to heal her, she actually filled our bottle with this stuff. And look at that. 
Attack power doubles and heals all your hearts. And there's two helpings inside. So that's like <sighs> two potions. They completely heal all your hearts and double your attack power until you get hit. It's amazing. And the bad thing is you can only have one bottle of them. You can't have four bottles or something of them. But still, very useful and you'll be using it a lot. And, whoops, sorry about that, Grandma. I kind of destroyed your pot. Let's get out of here. Okay, so now we got that wallet upgrade, that elixir soup, and beetle's chart from the mailbox. We're going to do one more thing before we go uh, and get that third pearl from Jaboon. We're going to go over here. Back to the guy who gave us our sword. And we're going to actually... What the fuck is he doing, though? <laughs> I think he's trying to piss off his brother upstairs. Ah, uh, Link, you're all right. What? I, I'm pretty sure I told you about my sister. That's why I you gave me the sword. Maybe that's for the brown bitch. Whatever. So anyways, we're going to play a little game with him here. And this is extremely annoying. I'm going to be cutting. Basically, you, you have to fight him. You have to basically attack him. He says 100 times, but you have to hit him 500 times for the heart piece. Without getting hurt, uh, hit more than three times. So you have three hearts there. Every time you get hit, you lose a heart. So you just want to crazy, just attack him like this. And basically the strategy I use is just keep on attacking him until he hits you twice. When you have one heart left... Alright, I'm back. When you have one heart left like I do, then you want to use this maneuver where you jump attack, you move back. Jump attack, you move back. Anyway, keep on doing that. I almost have 500 hits here. I cut it out because it takes a while. But yeah, you just want to keep on attacking like crazy until you have one heart left. You want to be careful though. And then you want to jump attack, move back, keep doing that. And make sure you keep him away from the walls, because if he tries attacking you and you try pressing the A button to do that, like, jumping move or whatever, it's not going to work if you, like, hit the wall, and then he'll hit you, and he'll screw that all up. There we go. Got 500 hits, and then just went crazy on him. 501 blows, you've improved. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Yes. We got heart piece number 11. One more now. So yeah, there we go. We got a upgrade our wallet, got a heart piece, got the elixir soup, a beetle chart. Now we're gonna get that pearl. So let's go get that. I would I would usually end the part here, but I might as well just get the pearl. I don't want to do it in the next part. So let's quickly go to our boat here. Okay, so yeah, you, you're gonna wanna have- yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so you're gonna wanna have bombs, obviously, that's why we f got bombs for this reason. Because, I've never showed- I've never demonstrated it yet, but you can, uh, when you pull out your bombs on your, uh, ship, a cannon comes out and you gotta aim it. So if you go to the back of the island here, you see this little, like, whirlpool thing, you wanna go right into it, you can get sucked up. Except if you look over there, yes, there's a wall that cracks in it, you gotta shoot your bombs at it. And when you're over here like I am, don't shoot any bombs at all. Don't waste bombs. You're going to wait till you get close to it, then start shooting. Because there's no way from back here you can hit it. You want to get close. Especially since you only have 30 bombs right now. And that one even missed. Okay. So, again, you want to aim at the top, then the middle. Aim at the top, that little red mark, let's see. And... There we go. Destroy the top. Then you want to aim at the middle, and then the bottom. So let's get the middle here. Can I get it? There we go. Sweet. Okay, so when I come back around, I'm going to destroy the bottom. It's really not that hard at all. I remember the first time I ever played this game, I failed a lot at it. Because I kept on shooting from here and I ran out of bombs. Or... Oh, I thought, how the hell do you do this or whatever? You just want to wait. And it's, it's really not hard at all to use the cannon. It's pretty simple. And there we go. Right away. And the, it'll, uh... That whirlpool goes away right away once you destroy it. So let's go in here. Let's talk to Jaboon. Get that frickin' third pearl. Where is he? Oh, there's a little light, and holy shit, he's a gigantic fish. What's up, sexy? Well much indeed, Jabun. I'm pleased to see that you are safe. How's Ganon? 
Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. Are you married? Unfortunately, that is not so. Well, who's that sexy guy in your back? The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. And yet, since I sense a great courage this one possesses. Well then, do you take him to be your husband? I do, it is the only way. Well then, I pronounce you husband and husband. Take this pearl. Well, it is the only way. Jaboon married us to our boat in order to get the pearl. And it doesn't matter, Link does not have any love, he just wants to save the world. But he is gay. Alright, thank you, Jaboon. Let's get the fuck out of here. Gotta find Hylian ass there. So that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought to us by Gan, and he must indeed try to cast us land. Do you work out? I believe I have. Peace out, fags. What a dick. Alright, Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jamun gave us, so morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all these pearls. Are you ready, Link? I have marked the places where you must see that set the pearls on your sea chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so if you look at our map now... Um... Let me actually sail up here. So yeah, all the storm completely went away, and it'll be morning soon, so we don't have to worry about all that thunderstorms and shit. It's all gone. It's back to normal. And, uh, s what he, the King of Red Lions just told us that we have to actually, um... Yeah, we have to go to these three locations here and place the pearls. And I will be doing that on the next part, along with lots of other con... con bleh, collection. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. We got the third pearl, and in the next part, we will be moving on with the story. So, join me next time, guys. Bye-bye.